Hello, my name's Daniel. Today, we're reading Two Bears by Patricia Hegarty and Rotem Teplow. So get comfy and I'll begin. This is the story of two bears who lived many, many miles from each other in two very different worlds. Polar Bear lived in the frozen lands of the Arctic. Grizzly Bear lived in the heart of the northern forests. Polar Bear spent her days diving and swimming to the depths of the icy blue ocean in search of food. Grizzly Bear's hunting grounds stretched through pine woods and clear, sparkling rivers. They may have lived far apart, but when night fell, the two bears would rest beneath the same starry skies, gazing up at the same silvery moon. A time came when strangers invaded Grizzly Bear's world. Fires raged through the forest as man sought to tame nature. Meanwhile, Polar Bear's home was in peril as the weather became warmer and the ice caps began to melt away. The lives of the two bears were soon to change forever as they were forced to seek a place of safety. And so the journeys began. Polar Bear turned her face determinedly to the south. Grizzly Bear began a gruelling trek northwards in search of food. The weeks passed and the two bears journeyed on through snow and wind, sunshine and rain. They grew thinner and thinner as food became scarce, but the bears knew they must stay strong to survive. And then, one day, as the bears were close to despair, a wonderful thing happened. The two bears from two different worlds came face to face. Was this to be their new home? The bears quickly learnt that they had much in common, despite the different colours of their furs. The things that they shared were far more important. Both craved food and shelter and to live their lives in peace and harmony. And so two bears from different worlds made a life together. With the arrival of spring, two bears became three and the family was complete. Their baby bear looked a little like each of them and he saw no difference between them. He knew no other home and his heart was full. This was his family. Thanks for listening. See you next time. <laughs>